For the first time, clear images are lifting the veil on China's new intercontinental range stealth bomber, and the details raise big questions. A massive flying wing design, hidden internal layout, and unexpected scale suggest capabilities never publicly seen before. In this video, we unpack what the images reveal, how analysts read the clues, and why this quiet appearance could reshape long-range aviation. The most important development in this story is not speculation, but visibility. For years, discussions about China's next long-range stealth aircraft relied on indirect hints, official statements, and low-resolution satellite imagery. That changed when new satellite images and later in-flight photographs showed a large flying wing aircraft operating from a test facility near Malin in Xinjiang. For analysts, this was the moment where theory met observable reality. What immediately stood out was the aircraft's overall shape. The flying wing configuration is not accidental. This design is widely recognized for reducing radar visibility by eliminating vertical surfaces and sharp angles. More importantly, the images revealed what appear to be two internal bays beneath the aircraft, a detail that fundamentally changes how the platform is understood. Internal bays strongly indicate that the aircraft is designed to carry payloads inside its structure rather than externally, preserving its low visibility profile. Size is another critical clue. Based on runway markings, shadows, and comparison with nearby objects, analysts estimate a wingspan comparable to that of the B-2 Spirit. This places the aircraft in an entirely different class from smaller unmanned platforms or reconnaissance systems. It suggests long endurance, substantial range, and the ability to support complex missions that require both distance and persistence. Equally significant is what the aircraft does not show. There are no visible cockpit features, canopy outlines, or traditional pilot accommodations. This absence has led many observers to conclude that the aircraft is likely unmanned, or at least designed to operate without a crew on board. That opens the door to longer missions, reduced physical limitations, and greater design flexibility. Taken together, these visible elements allow analysts to move beyond guesswork. This is not a test model or a technology demonstrator in the usual sense. It is a large, fully integrated aircraft that has progressed to flight testing, indicating a mature development stage. To understand why this aircraft is emerging at this moment, it's essential to look at the broader context of China's aerospace evolution. For decades, China's long-range aviation capabilities were built around upgraded legacy designs, most notably the H-6. While continuously improved through modern engines, avionics, and refueling support, that platform remains constrained by its original design philosophy. Modern strategic planning increasingly favors flexibility, reach, and survivability across vast distances. Fixed systems and short-range platforms simply cannot offer the same adaptability. A long-range aircraft, especially one designed with low visibility in mind, provides decision-makers with options that can be adjusted in real-time, redirected mid-mission, or scaled without committing to irreversible actions. This new flying wing platform appears to address those exact needs. Its design suggests it is meant to operate far from home bases, remain difficult to track, and carry payloads internally to preserve efficiency. These characteristics are not isolated innovations. They build directly on advancements already demonstrated in other Chinese aerospace programs, including the J-20 and the newer J-35. Each of those programs contributed lessons in materials, shaping, and sensor integration. Another key factor is automation. By removing onboard crew requirements, designers can optimize the aircraft entirely around performance and endurance. There is no need for life support systems, cockpit visibility, or human factor constraints. This allows for longer operational windows and mission profiles that would be impractical for crewed aircraft. Timing also matters. Advances in propulsion efficiency, sensor fusion, and autonomous systems have matured to the point where such an aircraft becomes not just possible, but practical. What we are seeing is the convergence of multiple technological trends into a single platform. In simple terms, this aircraft exists now because the supporting technologies finally allow it to exist effectively. 
It represents the natural next step in a long-term strategy focused on expanding reach, reducing detection, and increasing operational flexibility without relying on legacy solutions. It also reflects organizational confidence gained from recent large-scale testing, manufacturing maturity, and sustained investment cycles, signaling readiness to move from experimental platforms towards scalable, repeatable, and operationally relevant systems within a coordinated aerospace roadmap. That brings us to the wider implications. The appearance of this aircraft is not significant only for China. It has implications for how long-range aerospace systems are viewed worldwide. For much of the past three decades, only a small number of countries operated large flying wing aircraft with global reach. That exclusivity shaped assumptions about technological leadership and strategic balance. Today, those assumptions are changing. In the United States, long-range stealth aviation has been represented by the B-2 and is now transitioning toward the B-21 Raider. That shift reflects a broader trend toward network platforms that integrate sensors, communications, and payloads into a single adaptable system. The newly observed Chinese aircraft appears to follow a similar philosophy, even if its exact operational concept remains undisclosed. One of the most important global effects of this development is uncertainty. When long-range aircraft become harder to track and more flexible in how they operate, planning assumptions must be reconsidered. Detection timelines compress. Monitoring systems must adapt. Strategic calculations become more complex. Another implication is symbolic. The presence of such an aircraft signals that advanced flying wing designs are no longer limited to one or two nations. It demonstrates that high-end aerospace capability is becoming more distributed, driven by sustained investment and long-term planning rather than isolated breakthroughs. It also encourages other aerospace powers to reassess timelines, investments, and priorities, accelerating research into low-visibility design, autonomy, and integration, while prompting international discussions about transparency, norms, and stability in an increasingly interconnected air domain. This does not mean immediate parity or identical capability. Different countries pursue different design priorities, operational doctrines, and integration strategies. However, it does mean that the global aerospace environment is becoming more competitive and technologically diverse. Finally, this aircraft reinforces a broader lesson. Modern aerospace development is no longer about single platforms in isolation. It is about ecosystems. Sensors, support aircraft, data networks, and autonomous systems all play a role. The flying wing aircraft revealed in these images appears designed to function as part of such an ecosystem, not as a standalone solution. What makes this development truly important is not just the aircraft itself, but what it represents for the future of aerospace technology. For the first time, clear imagery confirms that China has entered a new category of long-range, low-visibility aviation. The design choices, overall scale, and visible testing progress point to a carefully planned platform shaped by years of steady technological advancement. As additional details emerge, this aircraft will increasingly influence conversations about reach, adaptability, and global aerospace balance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.